My name is Judy Powell and my research project is crime, passion and opportunity in Brisbane during World War II. My research is really to support writing fiction. I'm not a military historian and that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is tell the story of wartime Brisbane through a series of crime novels. What I really want is the look and feel, the sound of, of Brisbane. And the photographic collection at State Library is just fabulous for that. After Pearl Harbour, which is December 1941, America finally came into the Second World War. By that stage, of course, Australia had been involved in the conflict in Europe and had had devastating losses, really. Um, so when the Americans arrived in Brisbane, they came as young godlike figures who'd not experienced battle. So they weren't battle-hardened at all, but they were young, they were beautiful, they were here to rescue Australia. So there was huge excitement when they arrived because in 1942 there was real genuine fear that the Japanese would invade and Brisbane would be on the front line. I came across some files that were kept by an American military policeman in Brisbane during World War II. The Irvin Task papers are the ones that form the basis of the story, I guess. And Irvin Task was an American sergeant. He was with the Criminal Investigation Command, which was set up to investigate crimes committed by American soldiers. He worked alongside the Queensland Police and the Queensland detective who was investigating one of the crimes, a murder, was Frank Bischoff, who is famed as one of Queensland's most corrupt policemen. And what makes this an interesting murder, I think, is that, in fact, the person charged was not a soldier, but was a local. That's interesting because it actually went through the Queensland courts. Most crimes involving soldiers went through court martials. And in the end, she actually was found not guilty. It seems fairly obvious that either she or her pimp were in fact responsible for the murder. And I've sometimes wondered if it wasn't just the jury saying, we've had enough of the activities of the Yanks and, you know, it's your turn to cop it. I do think that after the war, Brisbane really did go back to being a sleepy country town. However, I believe that World War II was the beginning of that corrupt police culture. The Q Anzac Fellowship has been marvellous for me. For anyone who would be thinking of applying for the fellowship, I would just say go for it. I mean, one of the things that is great about applying for anything is that it clarifies in your own mind what it is that you're doing. I wondered whether doing a novel, writing fiction, would still qualify me, uh, but it does. And the sort of work that the other Q Anzac fellows are doing, it, it's enormously broad, um, the possibilities.